sub football fans, this will be Carolina Panthers review volume nine. They took on the Washington Redskins <coughs> at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. This game, wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. Where do I begin? It's between mediocre to average game. I'll just lean to, towards average. I mean, the defense on both teams were spectacular. And the offense, well, not so much. I'll get to a couple reasons why the Washington Redskins lost this game. Second reason they lost is you can't let your quarterback get sacked four times and expect to win the game it's not a lot but you can't give up you know four sacks and the offensive line just for the Redskins just did not get any push or protect Jason Campbell at all at least he didn't turn the ball over like he did last week when he threw three interceptions but they still won the game at home against Tampa Bay Uh, I'll, not only the four sacks and the offensive line didn't do a good job pushing in a running game or protecting the quarterback, I will throw this in a little tie. The play calling, I don't know what would, I don't know what's wrong with the Redskins' coaching staff. I, I really don't know. I don't know what's going on in nation's capital. I have a feeling that Jim Zorn is going to be the first one to get the boot. He's going to be the first one to get fired. I, I can see it coming. And reason number one, they had the lead 17 to 2. How can you go from 17 to 2 and basically lose the game? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the offense did their thing. I mean, the defense put the offense in a, few, in a good position for them to score because of turnovers such as the fumble by D'Angelo Williams and Jake DeLone throwing an interception again. Wow. <clears throat> wow. It's, maybe it goes back to, you know, the play calling, the conservative play calling. Wow. Wow. Mm. You can't go up 17 to 2 and all of a sudden you just basically give a game away like that. And I felt that the Redskins needed this win real bad cuz they were because they were getting killed by the sports media, especially in the nation's capital. I mean, they struggled to win. I mean, they won games but they struggled against the winless Rams and the Buccaneers. So, that's all I can say about the Washington Redskins, but on the special teams, if I'm Antoine Randall L, I'll be very upset with number 34, was it Brian Westbrook? Yeah. I mean, he should never have gotten in his way in the first place. And that kicking the ball... And Carolina recover it, which is a turnover. That was huge. That was real big. And that was the turning point of the game in the fourth quarter. As for Carolina Panthers, wow. <laughs> One huge reason why they, they won the game. They played together as a team. Even though the offense was struggling like crazy. I mean, D'Angelo Williams fumbling the ball right out of the gate that put the defense in a really bad position and Clinton Porter scored two touchdowns for the Washington Redskins so I mean the defense other than that the defense was they were off the hook I mean Julius Peppers whew, wow just wow <laughs> what can you say about the dude now to the Julius Peppers haters out there how you like him now how you like him in that game 
I mean, yeah, I was critical in Dallas, but I never doubted him that for one second. I guess that talk that he had with John Beeston worked. But the question is, how long can he keep this up? And the offense, even though, like I said, they struggle, but they they got they got the job done. I mean, you got Jeff Keen scored the touchdown. You got Jonathan Stewart ran the game-winning touchdown in the fourth quarter after that punt return, which is a turnover. Jake DeLone throwing an interception. It's the fifth straight game that he threw an interception. But he redeemed himself with a touchdown pass to Jeff King. And, <laughs> and that, that, what was it, that naked bootleg run that made D'Angelo Hall look like an amateur. My goodness. Can anybody tackle anymore? My God. <laughs> God, D'Angelo Hall sucked. He just flat out sucks. I don't care what people say. So, it was a it was a good win for the Carolina Panthers. And the offensive line need they need to protect the, they need to protect Jake Delhomme and open holes for the for the running game. I mean, Jordan Gross got blown up probably one too many times. So, hey, they won the game. That's all it counts. So, they on on the road, the Carolina Panthers, to, to Tampa to take on the Buccaneers, who are 0-5. They got blown up by the Philadelphia Eagles, 33-14. So, so, uh, I have a feeling that the Carolina Panthers will win that game, hands down, no question about it. So, so I'm done with the review of the Carolina Panthers, Volume Nine review. I want to touch on a couple things before I get on out of here. Congratulations to the Cincinnati Bengals for winning a tough road game in Baltimore versus the Ravens did not play not only for themselves they play with for uh, Mike Zimmer the defensive coordinator who lost his wife last Thursday untimely death just big props big win for the Cincinnati Bengals they're 4-1 Denver Broncos big win absolutely big win for them against the New England Patriots Tom Brady's one in five. For what I've heard, he's one in five all time in Denver against the Broncos. So I'm not, I'm still not sold on the Denver Broncos at all. They need to prove to me that they can win the division without choking like they did last year. Get to the playoffs, win a game there, and then we'll talk if they've been severely disrespected or not. <laughs> New York Giants tch, Wow I can't wait for The Giants and the Saints I can't wait for that game Can't wait As for the Dallas Cowboys mm, mm, mm. I'm just going to have to say this The most over there are They are by far the most overrated team in the National Football League right now. The teams that they've beaten are a combined of 1 and 13. And the teams that they've lost, they've been undefeated. You struggled at home on Monday Night Football against the Carolina Panthers. You struggled for 3 quarters. And yeah, and you had and you still had a tough time putting them away. And it took you an overtime to beat the winless Kansas City Chiefs? Wow. 
the Kansas City Chiefs just expose you guys of how more overrated you really are. And it's the truth. So if I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, yeah, a win is a win, but for the Dallas Cowboys, uh-uh. They're the America's team. They're supposed to blow out teams like Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which they did. Carolina Panthers, which they didn't until the fourth quarter. And the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> so, <clears throat> that's the way I feel. Dallas Cowboys are overrated. I still have them go 12-4, and four, win the division, but they're going to get that butt whooping in the first round. That's the way I feel. Don't be mad, Cowboy fans. Don't be mad. Just saying like it is. And with that, I'm out.